the month of Sha'ban is a, is a month that many people take lightly. The Prophet وسلم, as we were informed by Aisha radiallahu anha, used to fast a lot during this month. And when he was asked by one of the companions about the reason behind him fasting so many days uh, during that month, uh, he said, and this is reported by an Nasa'i and classified as uh, sound by an Albani, he said it's a month that uh, lies between two important months, between the sacred month of Rajab and the month of, Ra of, Sh of Ramadan. Now Ramadan has its virtues and the sacred months have their virtues and the sacred months are uh, Dhul Qirda, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram and Rajab. So it lies between Rajab and Ramadan and therefore people are negligent of it. The second reason he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam it is a month during which the deeds are raised to Allah and I like that my deeds are raised to Allah whilst I am fasting. Now, <clears throat> the month of Sha'ban is like a training session uh, in preparation for the arrival of Ramadan. It will make the fasting of the month of Ramadan much easier if you train yourself during the month uh, of Sha'ban. And whatever is legislated in Ramadan, is also legislated to be done in Sha'ban since it is the training for and the pre preparation for Ramadan. And one of the imp most important things, especially in the situation we're in, is to recite the Quran and the dhikr, adhkar, remembering Allah, mention Allah Azza wa Jal abundantly. Another issue here is that since we are in a situation where we have to be home, Fasting becomes easier. Uh, we don't have to go out for, uh, you know, for work and working for long hours, become exhausted and all that. We're relaxed, we're home. Uh, so fasting is, is much easier for us now. And it will result in this stay at home being very fruitful in terms of reward. Uh, one of the things that is uh, common between fasting Sha'ban and any other uh, day during the year is that the, the fasting person uh, is promised to have his supplications, his dua answered by Allah Azza wa And this is reported by Al Bayhaqi, classified as authentic by Al Albani. He said three have their uh, supplications or will have their supplications answered. And one of them was the person who is fasting until he breaks his fast. So we are in a situation that needs dua. We need dua for ourselves and for our loved ones and for the ummah at large. And you never know. One of us can be the person to whom Allah Azza wa Jal will respond and lift this pandemic from us and protect us and safeguard us. The last thing is that it's human nature, or at least with some people is that when they become bored and staying at home 24 hours can, can get boring, can become something disturbing. So people resort to eating to get their frustration out. Now fasting will, will be a, a precautionary measure against reaching obesity, for example, or going up the scale after whatever period we stay here and discover that the number is terrifying on that scale. It's uh, an, an advantage, an opportunity given to us by Allah Azza wa Jal, rather a golden one because the reward resulting from it can be very, very high. We ask Allah's help. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.